Okay, now, guys, let's get it going. Let's get, hey, grab him and hold. Get, get around him. Grab him and hold him. Get, grab him. Hold him. God damn it. Okay, y'all, grab him and hold him. Grab him. You're not grabbing him. You're not holding him. All right, try this. Hold him and then grab him. Grab him and then come Kirk Patrick. That was a great tackle on the referee. He was grabbing. He was held, but God damn it. Please subscribe. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch. I speak stocks. Today is Thursday, February 24th, and in today's video, I have one play for you. It's one play only. Before I go into the play, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the markets. The Dow Jones Industrial Average plunged 1.38% yesterday, sitting at 33,133. The NASDAQ, they cratered 2.57% yesterday, sitting at 13,037. Apple closed down 2.59%, sitting at $160.07 pennies. You want to pick up some Apple shares in the 150s range. It's looking spooky in the pre-markets. It's official. Russia has invaded the Ukraine. Please be very cautious. Please be in and out with these plays, okay? IMPP still going strong. IPP, I'm sorry, IMPP, they closed up 41% at 113. The stock opened up at 103. And the high of the day, 129. The low on the day, 98 cents. IMPP, the volume yesterday, 162 million. Compare and contrast to their average volume of about 3 million. Okay? It's not done. It's still up in the uh, pre markets. But be very cautious at this juncture. I am PP. Let's jump right into it. Dave's play today is a SP play, speculation play. Okay? In and out, grab and go one and move. CEI. CEI is up 38% at 82 cents. After closing up 30% yesterday at 59 cents, okay? The high of day thus far, 89 cents. If this one retracts below 68 cents, this might be a no-go today. CEI came out with news. The CEO did an update on the company. Go ahead and read the news on your own time, your own term. Let's kick the tires. CEI wears a market cap of 126 million. Let me back up real quick. CEI has spikeability from September 2nd through September 29th. The stock went from 65 cents all the way up to $4.85. 65 cents all the way to $4.85. $4.85. This one has spikeability for days. Let's kick the tires. They were a market cap of 126 million. They have 22 million in the float. 1% of the float are held by insiders. 20% of the float are held by institution insurers as 11% of the float. <laughs> they have 274K in revenues. They have a low cash of 100, I'm sorry, 1.11 million. 1.11 million total cash in hand. Their debt, NA. Their current ratio, however, is sitting below par. Their current ratio is sitting at 0.93 CEI. Their leverage free cash flow is a positive 935K CEI. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Very spooky morning. Please be cautious. Please be in and out. You might want to take some profits right now, okay? Keep some cash on the side. And if you've been on the side last year, now might be the time to do some shopping. Let me cut the black the skite and get out of here. Dave Natch, I'm out. Boom, bam, make your next trade your best trade. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, guys, at WT. See you then. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Webull link below. You'll get some free stocks. Minimum deposit required is $100 also. Pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Webull. Webull only the way to go. Pre-market hours trading is very risky. It's not for the risk averse.
259 percent let me say that again their 52 week change 1259 percent change okay their 52 week low was one dollar and 15 cents 115 watch for a retracement to around 1675 that's your buying zone 1675 let's see if it could retest 1675 aehr let's continue they were a market cap of 333 million they have 17 million in the float 12 percent of the float are held by insiders 24 percent of the float are held by institution and shorts as six percent of the float aehr they have 20 million in total revenues. Their quarterly revenue growth is up 181% year over year. Let me say that again. Their quarterly revenue growth is up 181% year over year. They have 6 million in gross profit. Okay? Their quarterly earnings growth is up a whopping 551% year over year. Let me say that one more time. Their quarterly earnings growth is up 551% year over year. Earnings is the, one of the greatest catalysts to move a stock upwards. Pay attention. Their total cash, 7 million. They have 2 million in total debt and their current ratio is 2.48 AEHR. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter at WT for my stock alerts. Also, set your notification for Dave's Play tomorrow, Money Making Monday, okay? I'll see you tomorrow with the plays. Dave Natch, I'm out. Boom, bam, make your next trade your best trade. I speak stocks. Today is Tuesday, September the 29th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today my Walmart is streaming. Please trade well. Today's what are you going to take? Take pictures. Take pictures. Please delete that stuff out. Please trade well. 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 I thank you for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out.